Hey guys, how you doing? It's Blake. We're here at a Dollar Tree. Can you see that through my back window? And we're gonna make some money with a new strategy that I haven't told you about before. It's called Dollar Tree Bundles. You can go in this store, buy a bundle of stuff, and sell it on eBay and make some good money. So in this video, I'm gonna go in there, show you what to look out for, go back to the warehouse, show the rest of the process, and by the end of it, you are gonna be in a position to make up to 500, maybe even more dollars a week. And hey, if you like content like this, like the video, subscribe, and check every Wednesday at noon Eastern as I go live to answer your questions absolutely for free. I'll be doing a series of videos focusing on retail arbitrage from dollar stores this summer, so I think you're gonna like what I have in store for you. Anyways, let's get in there. Wow, I don't know what happened here, but it looks like this Dollar Tree has been through some stuff. Outside the store, we see assorted t-shirts, $1 while they last. Perfect option right there, three for 15 bucks, three for 10 bucks, even with shipping, still profitable. On the outside, still camping stuff, picnic stuff. Would you buy a picnic bundle from Dollar Tree? You just might, and I think there are lots of folks who would otherwise. Now we're in the store, we're seeing some great seasonal 4th of July stuff, Independence Day, coming up soon. Uh, imagine a bundle on eBay. You get your hats, you get your sparklers, your mini hats, your whatever this is. It's like some kind of streamer, I guess. Uh, you, you're buying these for a dollar, you sell them for, you know, four bucks a piece, whatever it is, and the profits add up. Now, the name of this game is not giant, big, thousand dollar profits. We're grinding out small retail flips to make reliable, sustainable income. The seasonal stuff, that's a great way to do it. Now, it's not gonna sell year round, but who stocks year round uh, Independence Day smoke ball bags like this? No, no one does. No one just has them in their garage. So when they want them for a special event, they're gonna go on eBay and you're gonna have them. I've talked about things like this quite a bit, but I have to mention these again. These are G.I. Joe branded minifigs. Six to collect, you've got Roadblock, you've got Destro, all the names everyone knows. You get six of these, you bundle them up on eBay, 20 bucks free shipping, you're only paying $6. You're gonna again bundle them, so you're only paying what, 354 bucks to get it to them? Easy money right there. Over to activity books, and I have to warn you, activity books, coloring books, word find books, all that fun stuff, that does not qualify for media mail. Now, if they're primarily word books, those do, of course, but like this right here, this Mandalorian activity book, there are two of them. Great to bundle, but you are gonna pay about a buck fifty more to ship them out. You can't use media mail. They made that change about 10 years ago, maybe even longer. Uh, so they have to go first class mail, which starts at around $3 as opposed to uh, $2.89 uh, and certainly goes up higher. But does that mean you can't sell these? No, absolutely not. You just raise your price a little bit. You know, if the demand is there, the market's always going to match. So you get these books, you get the Disney ones, that's what I'd recommend, and you bundle them together. You can do the same thing with these books and do regular media mail, uh, but I think you're gonna have an easier time bundling activity books. But hey, you know what? We always find a way. Now, what better than a coloring book bundle uh, than a crayon bundle? We have metallic, neon, chalk, colored pencils. Now, I'm always going to recommend the name, brand, the license, figures, whatever it is, the things that are getting a lot of keyword traffic on websites like eBay, Facebook Marketplace. Crayola certainly is one of those. Unicrans, pastel crayons, pearl crayons. You bundle these up and you're gonna, you're gonna set the price yourself. You're gonna say, okay, I wanna make at least 10 bucks on this. I wanna make at least five bucks on this, whatever it is. And you're gonna uh, craft the bundle accordingly. So figure out what the market price is on eBay. I'm assuming when you're watching this, it's like three to six bucks per pack of crayons and then bundle them up to hit the number you want. You can do it with any of this stuff, the play school crayons, the crayons, uh, the Avenger crayons, whatever it is, all that good stuff you can easily bundle because people search the keywords, not necessarily the exact product. And just as I finish saying that, here is something where people actually are looking for the exact product product. 
Lysol disinfectant wipes. I don't have to explain to you what happened to these and the demand and the supply over the past, at this point, 14 months, uh, but I think you know, and it just shows you that, you know what, eventually, everything kind of does get back to normal because uh, once again, we can sell these without fear of the government breaking down our doors. Okay, let's buy our stuff now. All right, we got our stuff right there. And now back to my warehouse and I'll show you how to list this. Okay, back at the warehouse and I'm gonna show you what I got just right here on the, uh, on the table. So we got these smoke balls bag, four of the uh, Crayola, I don't know what you want to call these. I guess we'll say pearl, metallic, pastel, and neon crayons. Three of the G.I. Joe limited edition little mini figures. And then two of the Mandalorian Star Wars activity books. So these are our four bundles we're going to be listing. Uh, we could sell them individually. It might be a bit tough. I saw these were selling individually. I'm sure you could sell these for five bucks a piece. But uh, we're bundling these because we want to avoid the competition that you often see with Dollar Tree retail arbitrage fines. You know, uh, if you can make your own bundle, you can use your own keywords. And that's where the trick is really gonna be, is finding the right keywords. Because if you can find a way to sell, you know, 10 of these a day, that really is gonna start to add up fast. The way I list is pretty simple. I use my phone to take pictures, and then I upload the pictures onto my computer and do listings on there. Do you have to do that? No, no, by no means do you have to do that, but I have found it's much faster. You can use just your phone, it just can take a little bit longer. There's a few more uh, steps, a little bit more waiting. But now you're probably asking, what does any of this have to do with making money? How do I get from Dollar Tree items to making cold, hard cash. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you. So we wanna make 500 bucks a week, right? We have to figure out what exactly gives us $500 a week. Well, I did the math for you. If you're making uh, 10 bucks a sale profit, that is 50 sales. Five bucks profit, 100 sales, or 20 bucks profit, 25 sales. How do we know that? Simple multiplication. Now let's make ourselves a nice little box. A four square, if you may. In the top left corner, we have our cost of goods. That's $4. Now, of course, there's gas. There are taxes. Do that on your own. I'm just giving you a basic outline. Likewise, for shipping, in the top right corner, we also have $4. Is every first class mail package $4 to ship? No, it's not but it's a good benchmark. So, so far we have $4 cost of goods, $4 shipping cost. Bottom right corner is eBay fees. Now fees differ by marketplace. eBay in general is about 12%. 12% of $20, because that's a number I'm going with, is uh, let's see, two, 260, <laughs> it's 260. So far we have four, four, 260 and then in the bottom left hand corner we have nine dollars and sixty cents that number being our net profit within the parameters of this equation so we're making nine dollars and sixty cents if we can find a bundle of four items that sells for 20 bucks so five bucks a piece that should not be very hard Okay, so we've got our $4 buy cost, our $4 shipping cost, our 260 fee, and our 960 net profit. Now we take 500 and divide that by 9.6 and we get 52. That means we have to sell about 52 items a week to make that $500 profit per week. 52 divided by seven is about 7.5. So every other day we're going seven, eight, seven, eight sales a day. Can you sell seven or eight four packs of GI Joe minifigs a day? I don't think so, but don't worry. This is not the end of our plan. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm sure you're sick and tired of looking at my face, but I have to talk about one more very important concept. Sales per day. Now this is similar to a sell-through rate, but it is different in that we're not comparing our items against everyone else. 
we're only comparing our items against our own how many things we sell a day. So our sales per day or SPD must equal 7.5 at the current price parameters. It has to be 7.5 sales a day. That could be one listing that you go back to the Dollar Tree every single day and replenish. I mean, a year and a half ago, those Lysol wipes easily would have been 7.5 sales per day. Alternatively, you could have 750 different listings with a 0.01 SPD, and you're still going to make that $500 a week mark. So many people are always asking me in our Wednesday live streams, Blake, how many listings do I have to have to make 26 grand a year or to make a thousand bucks a week? And it's not so simple as how many listings. It is as simple as sales per day times average profit. And that's what I'm trying to drill home to you guys. You can do Dollar Tree retail arbitrage all you want. It is totally viable as long as you understand both net profit and sales per day. 7.5 sales a day, 960 profit per sale, and you're making $500 a week simply by flipping dollar store stuff. Thanks for watching. I'm Blake. Really appreciate your viewership. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.